So this video connects in with what I spoke about in terms of new life in Jesus. And if you have not yet watched that video, go ahead and watch that. Because one of the important factors to our new life is understanding exactly who Jesus is. Exactly why, knowing why God sent him to us and how it all comes together. And we learn this in what we call the Word of God, otherwise known as the Bible. And so I want you to have a great relationship with God, with Jesus, also with the Holy Spirit, which we'll talk about in another video. We want you to have this relationship, and it happens through God's Word, through the Bible. This is, listen to this, this is 66 books written by 40 authors that all compile into one book about one person, Jesus Christ. And so we want you to know how to read the Bible, and we want you to read the Bible. Now, finding a life-giving church and coming on a Sunday morning, you will always hear the word. If you come to life groups in the middle of the week, you'll always hear the word. But what's most important for us is that you understand the word for yourself. And so you may be asking, well, I don't even know where to start. Or you may be saying, well, I've gone back and I've read from beginning to end. And you know what? I just, I can't get past those first few books. Well, even though the Bible is written in a format where we look at the Old Testament and then the New Testament, my recommendation as a pastor is that you actually start in the New Testament. You want to start halfway through the Bible and begin at the book of Matthew. Now, Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, these are the four gospel accounts. These are the accounts about the person of Jesus Christ and his ministry. This is where you want to start. So if you're wondering, where do I start in the Bible? You start at the Gospels. And so this is where you're going to begin your journey. Now, my recommendation, a lot of people would say, hey, start with John. John is such a fantastic book. But just to make it easy, just start at the beginning. Start at the book of Matthew and read Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And these books are very similar. They're written in a very similar way and method. It's called synoptic. Um, and then we have the Gospel of John, which is a very reflective book that the Apostle John writes. It's, diff it's a little bit different than the other three. So these are the three books that I'd recommend first. Following these three books, I would then encourage you to go read the book of Acts. So the book of Acts is written by the same person who wrote the Gospel of Luke, Luke. <laughs> and so Luke actually wrote the Gospel of Luke and then the book of Acts as a two-part story. So if you, if you want to change it up just a little bit, you might want to read Matthew, Mark, John, and then read Luke and Acts together. You could do that. But my encouragement overall is that you begin in the New Testament. Start with the Gospels. Move into the book of Acts because the book of Acts starts to teach you about your authority and power in Jesus. It starts to teach about why we do what we do as a church. In one of my other videos, I explain that we want to live the book of Acts. And so we have to know the book of Acts in order to live it. And so as you're understanding about how to read your Bible... I would go like this, Gospels, and read them over and over again if you have to. Read them multiple times before you move on. Then the book of Acts, then go ahead and read the letters that were written by the Apostle Paul, by the Apostle Peter and John, and so forth. Read these letters because this, this even though these letters were written a couple thousand years ago, it really speaks to what we deal with today and how we can love and act and mature as Christians. Once you have a good understanding of the New Testament, that's where you go back and read the Old Testament. Read the Old Testament stories. Read about the beginning of the world in Genesis. Read about one of the most incredible miracles in the parting of the Red Sea when the Israelites were freed from slavery in Exodus. Read about some incredible prophets and kings, but first have an understanding of Jesus and our faith as believers in him through the New Testament. And so I hope this is helpful as you begin to grow in relationship with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit through his word.